Kirby and the Forgotten Land is the latest game featuring the pink hero who swallows everyone he meets. Like most Kirby games, players can inhale enemies to copy their abilities. This gives Kirby new powers to help him rescue Waddle Dees who were kidnapped by the Beast Pack. There are 12 copy abilities in Forgotten Land, 10 of them are returning from past entries in the series, and 2 are new to the game. Kirby and the Forgotten Land introduces a new feature for these copy abilities. Players can find blueprints to upgrade these copy abilities and grant Kirby even bigger powers. These upgrades expand the total list of copy abilities to 35. I'm Steve Vegvari, and today we're going to cover all the copy abilities and their upgrades in Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Ranger is a new ability introducing Kirby and the Forgotten Land. You can copy this ability from Bernard, a kind of dog with a hat and long grey fur that shoots Kirby with a gun. Swallowing Bernard will grant Kirby the Ranger ability, allowing the hero to use a ranged gun to shoot at enemies. If this ability is not really strong at first, it does have two upgrades that can turn Kirby into a dangerous shooting machine. Beating the World 2 boss, Tropic Woods, grants the Noble Ranger blueprint. This allows you to upgrade the Ranger ability and equip Kirby with two guns instead of one. This doubles the attack speed of the hero and even if the gun's damage is the same as before, shooting two guns at the same time is really useful against fast targets. The final evolution of this copy ability is the Space Ranger. Kirby trades his two guns for a space gun that fires energy beams. This weapon is a bit slower than the Noble Ranger, but deals way more damage. For even more damage, you can charge a shot to launch an energy beam at your enemy, dealing continuous damage for 3 seconds before exploding. The Space Ranger blueprint is hidden at the very end of Stage 6, Level 2, Conquer the Inferno Road. The second ability introducing Kirby in the Forgotten Land is Drill. This copy ability allows Kirby to burrow and navigate underground thanks to a cool drill helmet. Going underground lets Kirby get away from enemy fire and emerge to deal damage whenever you want. If you want to make a loop while burrowing underground, Kirby will damage all enemies in a radius with a lump of erupting rocks. You can get drill from swallowing a digga, one of the moles with a fancy orange haircut. The Pencil Drill is a stronger version of this ability. It gives Kirby a cool pencil sharpener hat that increases the attack speed and deals more damage than the default drill. When Kirby resurfaces from underground, a pencil missile rises with him and hits enemies nearby. You can get this blueprint after defeating Claroline, the boss of Stage 3, Level 5, in the Wandaria Remains. Twin Drill is the third and final upgrade of the drill. As its name suggests, it gives Kirby not one, but two drills is twice as good as the original drill, doubling its speed and damage. The blueprint of Twin Drill is hidden at the barrel at the start of Stage 5, Level 4. Kirby can smash his enemies with a hammer copy ability. He gets it from absorbing Mookie, a common little ape, or the mid-boss Wild Bonkers. The longer Kirby charges his hammer, the stronger the attack will be, but don't overdo it. If you charge the attack for too long, the hammerhead will burn into ashes, leaving Kirby with just a stick. The first evolution of this copy ability is the Toy Hammer. You can get this blueprint by watering all the flowers in Stage 3, Level 1, Welcome to Wondaria. The Toy Hammer is bigger than the regular one and deals a bit more damage. It is also lighter than its basic counterpart, allowing Kirby to smash his hammer several times in a row. The Wild Hammer is the second evolution of this copy ability. It focuses on power over speed, dealing massive damage to enemies but being harder to swing around. Smash the two switches in the Alival Mall, Stage 5, Level 3, to get this blueprint. The final upgrade of this copy ability is the Masked Hammer. Instead of a single hammer to smash enemies, Kirby can now wield two hammers at the same time. Not only does it increase the attack speed, but this weapon also deals massive damage. Charging the attack makes Kirby unleash a, a deadly spin attack. The blueprint of the Masked Hammer is given by King Day 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 after you complete the main story of the game. If you are more of a slasher than a smasher, you may prefer the Cutter ability. As with previous Kirby games, you can get this copy ability by absorbing Sir Kibble. The Cutter lets you throw a blade that returns just like a boomerang, inflicting damage both when you throw it and when it comes back. You can also use the Cutter to fetch items that are normally out of reach. The Chakram Cutter works just like the original Cutter, but Kirby throws two boomerang blades instead of one. Each blade will come back in a different direction which can prove useful when fighting against multiple enemies. You can buy the Chakram Cutter in the Waddle Dee's Weapon Shop. 
the Buzzsaw Cutter is the final upgrade of this copy ability. Not only does it increase the power and flying distance of your boomerang, but it also ricochets off walls for extra angles of attack. The blueprint lies in a treasure chest hidden behind a broken stone rail in the original wasteland on the searching the Oasis level. The sword copy ability also uses a blade to damage Kirby's enemies. You can slash left and right in quick succession or charge the attack to turn Kirby into a spinning tornado that grabs enemies nearby before pushing them away. To get this ability, you will need to absorb either a Blade Knight or the Wild Edge mid-boss. The first upgrade of this ability is the Gigant Sword. While it is slower than the default sword, this upgrade deals way more damage and hits enemies at a longer range. Charging the attack makes Kirby slam his sword on the ground, dealing damage to all enemies nearby. The sword also comes with a shield that Kirby can use to block attacks. The blueprint for this ability is in a chest after the Wild Edge mini-boss in Stage 3, Level 2, the Circuit Speedway, in Wondario Remains. The third version of the sword is the Meta Knight Sword. On top of having a cool sword and little wings, Kirby gets a new powerful attack. If the pink hero is at full health when he attacks, he can land a devastating crescent shot that releases dark purple sword beams on his opponents. You will need to defeat Meta Knight in the Coliseum of Waddle Dee Town to get this ability. The sword also has a fourth upgrade, the Morpho Knight Sword. This ability gives Kirby a Doom Blade that is both powerful and fast. He can use it to perform a spinning slash that ends with a massive shockwave with fiery butterflies that charge the attack. It even steals life from his enemies, allowing Kirby to go from one group of enemies to the other without stopping. To upgrade this final upgrade for the sword, you need to complete the game. You have to have defeated three bosses back to back in the Forgo lands. Once you kill the final boss, Morpho Knight, you can get a sword and start spinning around. While we're on the topic of spinning, there's an entire ability about that. It's the Tornado. Kirby can get this ability by swallowing Twister or the mid-boss, Florina. Tornado lets Kirby suck in enemies and damage them before pushing them away. When using Tornado, Kirby can even begin to float in the air, gliding across gaps and obstacles. Fluor Tornado is the first upgrade of this copy ability. Not only does it look fancier by adding feathers to the tornado, but it also deals more damage than the default version, with an even larger cyclone. The blueprint of the Fluor Tornado is hidden behind a cracked wall near the end of Stage 3, Level 4, the Wandaria Dream Parade. The third and last upgrade of this copy ability, the Storm Tornado, is darker than its previous versions. Dark clouds are now hovering above Kirby, warning his enemies that a storm is coming. The upgrade is faster and deals more damage than the default tornado, adding electrifying and lightning bolts to the basic cyclone. This blueprint is stashed in a little nook near the roller coaster at the end of Stage 6, Level 4. After the tornado, let's stay on the topic of natural elements with fire. After swallowing Glunk or Hothead, Kirby gains the fire ability, allowing him to breathe fire on his enemies, damaging them over time. He can even turn into a fireball, igniting everyone on his way. Volcano Fire lets Kirby spit out burning rocks onto his enemies. These rocks also fly farther than the original jet of fire, letting you reach more enemies. The longer you hold the attack, the longer the flames become. If you spam the B button, Kirby will fly as a clump of magma, burning enemies on his way while being invincible. You can purchase this upgrade in the Waddle Dee's Weapon Shop. The Dragon Fire turns Kirby into a dragon, allowing him to breathe fire and glide with cool wings. His default attack makes him exhale purple fire for as long as you press the B button. Spamming the attack makes Kirby unleash his dragon potential, flying around and igniting everyone. The blueprint of the Dragon Fire is in a treasure chest you can find in Windy, Freezing Seas level in the Winter Horns. After playing with fire, you can opt for another of Kirby's copy abilities, Ice. It deals less damage than fire, though the big advantage of Ice is that it freezes enemies in blocks of ice that you can kick into other enemies. This ability turns Kirby into Elsa from Frozen, making the pink hero able to slide down slopes, skate on top of ice without slipping. Kirby can also travel over mud without being slowed down and is not damaged by lava. Absorb Chili, or the mini-boss, Wild Frosty, to get this ability. Frosty Ice is the cutest Kirby upgrade in the entire game. 
Kirby will form a snowman and then kick it into enemies. You can even use your ice breath through the snowman to both freeze enemies and strike them with the snowman. The Frosty Ice Blueprint is in a chest that appears in the main path of the Battle of the Blizzard Bridge after defeating Twin Ice Frosty. The Blizzard Ice doubles the attack speed and damage of the default ice ability. Instead of breathing ice on his enemies, Kirby fires icicles to freeze them. This ability has a longer range than the default one, and skating around with a fancy tiara is always fun. You don't have to look for any hidden treasure chest to get this copy ability. The Blizzard Ice Blueprint is the reward for defeating the boss of the Collector in the Sleepless Valley level. Kirby can also wear a fancy magical hat but with no magic powers with the bomb ability. As the name suggests, Kirby will carry around a bomb and can throw it at his opponents. If it doesn't hit an enemy or object, the bomb will remain on the ground for a few seconds before exploding. You can copy this ability from Balloonmeister, Foley, or Poppy Bros Jr. The chain bomb makes Kirby's bombs even more dangerous than the default ability. All bombs are linked together to form a deadly network ready to explode. This can deal massive damage in a small area if enemies end up trapped in the blast. The chain bomb blueprint is in the chest at the end of a graded bridge in the fast flowing waterworks stage. The homing bomb is the third and final evolution of this copy ability. When Kirby throws that bomb, it won't just stay still and explode. Instead, the homing bomb will roll forward until it detects an enemy nearby. And when it does, it will pursue that enemy until it reaches it and takes it off with a blast. And on top of that secret bomb mode, it has the same abilities as the chain bomb and can attach up to five bombs together to create a network of fireworks that Kirby's enemies will never forget. While we're on the topic of explosions, let's talk about the crash copy ability. This fancy crown Kirby can get from Bomber is a single use ability, but is quite powerful. Crash creates a huge explosion around Kirby that deals damage to everyone nearby. Charging this attack increases the blast radius to be even more deadly. This ability can only be used once per stage, otherwise it would be way too easy to clear the entire game. Crash has a single upgrade, Time Crash. In addition to dealing massive damage when triggered, this ability stops time temporarily. While everyone else is frozen in time, Kirby has a shield around him that deals damage to everyone he touches. If you can only use this ability once per stage, it is really useful against bosses because they can't hurt you while you destroy their health bar. The Time Crash Blueprint is located in the Invasion at the House of Horrors level in a hidden path near the end of the stage. Needle turns Kirby into a ball of spikes that deals damage to nearby enemies. With this ability, Kirby can roll around and pick up enemies by hitting them with the spikes on his head. Once you release the attack button, Needle will throw away the enemies you just picked up. Kirby can copy this ability from Jabhog or Needleless. Clutter Needle replaces the spikes of the original ability with a bunch of tools like screwdrivers, a drill, and even a cactus. On top of collecting enemies and ejecting them, like with the original Needle, this upgrade leaves clutter on the ground whenever the spikes expand or retract. This can quickly fill the ground with clutter that damages enemies. Before you start leaving your mess everywhere, you need to get this blueprint from underneath a set of blocks in the Scale the Cement Summit level. The Crystal Needle is an improved version of both Needle abilities. It lasts longer and attracts enemies from further away, on top of releasing crystals no matter if you caught someone with your spikes or not. Moreover, it leaves a trail of crystals behind Kirby whenever he rolls around, damaging anyone walking on it. The blueprint for the Crystal Needle is in a treasure chest that spawns after defeating Florina in the Waste Where Life Began stage. I hope you're not sleeping yet because it's time to talk about the sleep ability. With that cute little beanie on, Kirby can only do two things. Stumble around to find a good place to take a nap, or fall asleep for five seconds, slightly getting back to health. Be careful though, sleeping can make you vulnerable and can only be used once. If you want to get this ability and give Kirby a good night's rest, you should absorb a nudie. Kirby only has one ability, deep sleep. Pressing B makes Kirby summon a bed to take a nap. If no one interrupts his sleep, he will regenerate his health to its maximum and get the benefits of a random stock item. The deep sleep blueprint can be found in the hidden path inside one of the giant crushing machines found in the burning, churning power plant level. And that wraps up all the copy abilities and their upgrades you can find in Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Thank you for watching the video. 
Which copy ability is your favorite? Let us know in the comments, and as usual, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the leaderboard for more gaming content each and every week.